Hey lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So the last vlog, <laughs> we were in Rome. We've moved on. We've down moved the coast. On to bigger, better better things. things. We're taking off a major bucket list item right now. Mm -hmm. Um hi, welcome to the Amalfi Coast. What? This isn't my life. I'm not actually here. This can't be real. But this also, is yes, I am wearing a top. <laughs> also, this is gonna be the best four days of my life. I've already decided it. I'm peaking. This is a. It can't go up from here. Tall down hill, folks. Tall down hill from here, folks. First thing we have is our entryway, and we have these fun little koalas that say I love Australia. Over here we have one of our first bedrooms. This is where we and Kennedy will be snuggling. No, we aren't. Over here we have one of the freeloaders, Victoria. <laughs> this is one of the uh, bathrooms. You look, wait, 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 we wait. Don't, we don't look towards this way. Follow me. Over here, we have our kitchen with our snazzy high technology fridge. There's nothing in it because we're broke. And nothing below. All our double doors. Don't be in the closet. What? Wow. That's the one's a work in progress. So here we have our view, and if you look here, Larry. <laughs> Hi, hello. Oh, the train runs right here, so that's fun. Oh, there it is now. <laughs> oh, she's in a lot. Good thing we have this crazy thing pulled up. No window, big security system we have here. Follow me. What? Look at the time, I gotta be at the beach. Come this way. <laughs> Thanks so much for visiting. Come back next time, but don't. <laughs> We've been in Sorrento for three hours. Maybe. We went and had lunch at the most delicious place, oh, had no. a glass of wine. Homemade pops. All the things. And now we went and bought wine, cheap wine, two euros. I bought water, mom. No, we're sharing this. Don't let her fool you. <laughs> and then we're going swimming. Hi. We're still out here in Sorrento, living our best lives. Quite a lot less wine, though. This view. <laughs> Good morning. It is day two in Sorrento, and we're trying to get the Positano today. And let me just tell you, it has been a trek already. So we rushed all the way down to the port because we thought we were going to miss our ferry, right? Turns out it's not running today. The water is too rough. So we just like had to translate an Italian man, and now we're on a random land. Going to a bus station and hopefully getting to Positano today. But we'll see because no one speaks English and uh, we're, we're struggling this morning. But the beach is on my foreseeable future. That's all that matters. We got on a bus. Standing remotely. For three euros, that's another 15 that the carry was going to cost us. Please pray for our safety. So, we made it to Positano. And everyone was like, Kennedy, what is Positano? What are we doing? Are we actually going tomorrow? And I was like, no, you need to go. Um, and I literally started tearing up when I saw this view because it's that gorgeous. So I'm like, so happy. <laughs> how, how do we feel about Positano now that we know what Positano is? I'm so grateful that she took me here because it's so beautiful. <laughs> Moral of the story, let me plan your vacations because my dream boards are on She's gonna play my honeymoon if oh. I ever get a honeymoon. <laughs> Sully but surely making our way down to the water. Stopped at a little convenience store, got a bomb looking sandwich and a water for six euros because that's how you do Italy on a student budget. Authentic but cheap. And I'm very excited about it. And I'm just ready to run at this water. 
we're just gonna strip and run it. That's how it's, <laughs> that's how it's happening. <laughs> Made it down to the water. My heart is happy. Let's go with that. Are we ready? Also this view on all sides is literally insane. <laughs> We went in the ocean. We did it. So much fun. Um, waves and me kind of get along, but kind of don't get along. Way rougher than I was expecting, but this never gets old. So we're having the best beach day. We're attempting to leave Positano now, though I really don't ever want to leave. Stunning. Ever. It's stunning. It's magical. It's just insanely gorgeous. But we're gonna hopefully catch a bus back to Sorrento. We don't know where to buy tickets, where to get on, what time it's going. But we're going very go with the flow because it's vacation. It's like three hours later. We're going to dinner, and our Airbnb host, uh, there's a restaurant he recommended. So I was like, oh hey, what was the name of that? And he arranged for a car like, to pick us up in front of a supermarket. And we still don't know the name of the restaurant. And we still don't know what the name of the restaurant is. I have no idea where he's taking us. But and we're getting a free ride there. <laughs> for, is this Uber for Sorrento? Um, but I'm just kind of concerned that we're going to get in a van and like get kidnapped forever. But like Trevor's here, so they wouldn't want four, five girls on the guy, right? No. Nah. Because none of us look cute enough today for that, so. <laughs> Oh, here he comes! He's a, oh, this traffic nightmare. He's sketch. All this. Um, we got we got in the car and we're at a restaurant. I have no idea where the hell I'm going well, though. I Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. And also, this might be the sketchiest thing we've done. Oh. It only had two dollar signs. <laughs> we made it to a restaurant <laughs> and there was a dog. And also, we totally could have walked here. I don't know why they arranged a ride for us. But I feel way cooler than I am. How does everyone feel about the adventure? <laughs> I don't have any positive <laughs> Like space is everything. I just pushed a nozzle into a <laughs> Random restaurant in Italy review. So good. So good. The experience made it so worth it. They definitely thought we were crazy, but like. That's because we stole cheese. It was, we were all over the place. All over the place. Still love the fact that we got on a random van and went to a restaurant Bye, that I didn't know the name of. Um, but good food and cheap food. Good morning, y'all. It morning. is Sorrento day three. It's bougie time. And we are currently on a private boat going to Capri Island and going snorkeling today. And like, this is us living our best lives. I am sitting on the front of a boat currently. In case you were curious. In case you were curious how our lives are going, we aren't cool enough for this. No. I'm so excited! <laughs> finished our morning part of our boat cruise. They dropped us off on Anna Capri Island. We're on the second part. First part? This is the first one. Was it in a moon? Our hair got very windblown this morning by the boat. We jumped in the ocean. Now we're all rocking kind of like some beachy all over the place. It looks great. You're killing the game. But we're gonna take a chair lift up to the top of Capri, and the views are going to be no, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Anyone? As I was saying before, I was weirdly interrupted <laughs> by a waiter 
Um, we're going to the top of the island, just bought our Terralyn tickets, and the views are gonna be insane. I'm just so, so excited. And then we're going to the other side of the island to Main Capri, and then we're getting back on our boat and going back to Sorrento. mainland Capri like Capri town and I decided I wanted to go down to the small marina right <laughs> Google Maps is like oh it's a 12 minute walk so I'm like Trevor let's just walk it'll be fun let's go views right so we get about where it says that we're done and then I realize we're actually only halfway there because there's this giant ass hill to walk down we're still not and we're still not even close to the water <laughs> But it's called an adventure, y'all. Trevor just happens to get me the one that I drag with me on. <laughs> I got halfway down, I'm like, how much do you hate me right now? But the views are gorgeous, so he can't be mad about it. Yeah, we made it to the water. There's been an unfortunate change in events. Um, so we got Holly down here, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous beach. Love my life. Uh, we have to be back up to the main town by 3.45. It's 3.33. The bus isn't down here. It's 10 minutes to get back up. Because we have to take a bus from there to catch like our actual tour bus from there back to the main marina because our boat leaves at 4. So we have like uh, 27 minutes to get to the other side of the island. Yep. And there's no way to get there as of right now. <laughs> I stress Trevor out so much, but uh, yeah, yeah, we'll keep you updated. <laughs> we finally made it on a bus, and we're supposed to be back up to the port in uh, two minutes. That's not obviously not happening, so we'll see how we get over to the other side of the island. <laughs> Things have once again escalated, and we are now in a taxi <laughs> down to the Grand Marina because our boat leaves in a uh, five minutes. <laughs> Let's see how much this costs me. <laughs> Taxi only cost me 20 euros, and now we just have to book it all the way across the marina to catch our boat. And like, we're okay. fine, it's 3.59, at least before I'm like from. A six minute walk into one minute. <laughs> we made it! Kind of, kind of, we're almost there. <laughs> but like, we did it. And Trevor didn't die from stress and anxiety. <laughs> I call that a win. Best life. So look at the views. This can't be real life. Someone pitched me.